Hello, welcome to part three, the final part of our Leo Basics Guide. Reminder that this is game version 4.2. Now that we've talked details about the character, we're going to go over some quick referential items. So we'll show you Leo's punishers, some basic combos, some players you can watch to learn more, and we'll finish with a brief character summary. And once again, I've included all the resource links I mentioned in part one down in the video description below, and you'll also find links to anything else we mentioned in this part. With that, let's finish strong. As always, we'll start by recommending App Play. It's the best quick info resource out there, so save the link, especially if you don't have time to watch a longer guide or guide series. Now the first player we'll recommend is Way Gamble. He's an OG US player, one of the few players in the world that has stuck with Leo from almost day one. He streams regularly, although he likes to play different characters on stream, so you might have to dig a little. Otherwise, searching for his matches on YouTube will yield plenty of results. Next, Pepper Beef Too Spicy is another well-known US player. Sadly, it seems he has mostly moved on from Leo, but since he has performed and played Leo at high level against other high level players, it's still worth watching his old matches for inspiration. While he does have a YouTube and Twitch, he has not used them in some time, so it might be best to do a generic search for his matches on YouTube. And lastly is Gen. Much like Pepper Beef, Gen has mostly moved on from Leo. However, again, going back and watching his old matches can still give you some insight into the character since Gen has been a high level player for a while now. And as usual, don't take this list as final. There are certainly other Leo players out there. This is just to get you started. So search around and you'll certainly find more. This brings us to the end of our guide. 
Leo is unfortunately one of the least represented characters in Tekken despite being one of the most well-rounded. It's hard to say why this is, but if you want to play Leo, understand that you will have a wide variety of tools at your disposal. Your range and punishment game will be strong, so opponents should not be able to mindlessly mash against you, while you will be able to play incredibly safe yourself. On the flip side, you'll have to adjust to weaker tracking, which means your movement and your homing move placement will have to be on point, and you're going to have to chip away slowly since your grab game is weak and you don't have any high damage quick lows. Your party potential is also limited, so don't expect Akuma or Marduk like comebacks, but Leo will absolutely force you to play strong fundamental Tekken, which is really good for learning the game overall. So I wish you the best of luck in your training. And with that, thank you for checking out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube. Also be sure to turn on notifications if you'd like to get alerted as soon as a new vid is uploaded. I also try to stream whenever I can, so the link to Twitch is down in the video description below. You will find Twitter and Facebook links down there too. Lastly, special thanks to our three patrons, Tato, Apples, and Overhaul. That support means a lot. Patreon is definitely the best way to support your favorite content creators, and the more support the channel gets, the more content I can afford to do. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you next time.